What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ori. Welcome back to AM Island Vice. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing all right. Today we're gonna be reacting to a video. I don't normally do. I don't like to watch people money. If that makes sense. I don't pocket watch. I don't see what people have and count it. You know what I mean? But we're just gonna do the reaction video because this is the aircraft and I like planes. Um, yeah, we're gonna be reacting to the riches inside Drake's 185 million dollar private jet. Air Drake. Yeah, we're gonna see. What's up? If you guys are new to the channel, smash the like button, subscribe down below in the comments. So, so like, comment, subscribe. If you guys are new to the channel, if you guys want some more reaction videos, let me know. I'm going to try to get to as soon as possible. With that being said, let's get into the reaction. I'm going to tell you guys something you guys probably don't know at the end of the video. Let's get to it. About Drake Aircraft. It's a different color though. This plan has been pretty fortunate for Drake. Aubrey Graham already has a $100 million Toronto mansion, but he also flies in stock on his own private plane that he calls Air Drake. Worth at least $185 million, Drake's wings were actually a gift from the Canadian airline company Cargo Jet, who thought that the rapper flying it around the world would be a golden opportunity for some fresh publicity. Talk about job perks. The plane comes tricked out with plush seating, gold finishes, Thank and a you. paint job by a Louis Vuitton designer. Here's a look inside the rapper's mansion in the sky. Drake's net worth is looking pretty impressive. As of 2020, the rapper and former actor is worth about $150 million. Between the years 2018 and 2019, his net worth grew by 50%, and it's been climbing higher and higher ever since. With money like that, it's no wonder Drizzy likes to travel the world in luxury. But the private plane he received as a gift has more to do with his celebrity status than exactly. the money he has in the bank. When the Canadian company Cargo Jet approached Drake about a promo deal that included his own private plane... I was just, I, that's what I was going to tell you guys. Drake don't own the aircraft. It's like a promotion deal, like like Fashion Nova, something like that. But the difference is, Fashion Nova, you actually own the clothes once they send it to you. You know what I mean? The name of the aircraft is on the back of the tail. It's called Cargo Jet. That's the actual owner of the company. And how else I know is, I've went on Flight Aware and I've seen the aircraft, and it's called Elon Express. If it was a private owner like Drake it wouldn't have used it would have used his tail number which it didn't so it had an actual call sign which a uh, company call sign so therefore it's still registered it's still owned by cargo jet Drake is just using it for now right jumped at the chance to get a free jet and support a company from his home country so what was the deal Drake would get a customized Boeing 767 completely free, but he'd have to take tons of pictures of himself and his celebrity friends enjoying the luxurious private jet lifestyle and share them with his millions of followers across social media. Wow. Since Drake's Instagram and Twitter feeds are full of pictures of him partying it up in the plane, it seems like the deal is working out just fine so far. The model cargo jet supplied to the rapper is actually a 23-year-old cargo plane, so it's not exactly brand spanking new. The 767 is one long, has a 156 foot long wingspan and is about 52 feet high. Cargo Jet spent between 80 million and 100 million on customizations for the plane to get it ready for the wrapper. The plane is estimated to have cost between 185 and 220 million dollars with those customizations included. Drake first got the plane in April 2019 and was quick to show us all the custom paint job it was getting. The exterior is painted with Air Drake and his Ovo Owl which stands for October's very own. That's the name of the umbrella company that includes his clothing line, record label, and even his own radio station. The plane's tail has the image of hands clasped in prayer painted on it, since Drake has nothing but respect for God and his plan. And the entire paint job is a serene baby blue. Even the person Drake got to do the paint job is impressive, as he enlisted the help of Louis Vuitton men's creative director, Virgil Abloh. Abloh's name can even be seen implemented into the paint job, like a very yeah. exclusive signature. If you think the outside of the plane is impressive, just wait until you get the official tour. The Boeing 767 is large enough for more than 200 passengers, but Drake has about 30 seats in the plane. 
There are plenty of mirrors, gleaming woodwork, gold-hued accents, and tons of comfortable leather seating. The plane is like a hotel deal. room in the sky, a luxury hotel that very few can afford. It features a bedroom with a king-size bed, not Shit. one, but two living rooms, a classy business lounge, and a bathroom. There's also a flat screen TV and plenty of tables for eating while in the air. Drake has already taken to the loudspeaker as his own flight attendant and praised his skilled captain as he's been popping bottles of the finest champagne. We wouldn't be surprised if this includes his very own champagne brand, Mod Selection, which costs as much as $550 a bottle. Oh but his own champagne brand was kind of a given for someone who goes by the nickname Champagne Poppy. Drake has boasted about how he doesn't have to share the jet with anyone else ever. There are no timeshares, no rentals, and he can take off whenever he likes. All he has to do is make sure his flight crew is ready to go. But you could rent another Boeing 767 to charter a flight if you've got the cash. The charter cost is usually upwards of $18,000 per hour. So Drizzy's definitely saving some money using his free private plane instead of chartering flights all over Damn. the world. But from what we know about the rapper, it was probably only a matter of time before he invested in his very own private jet anyway. So how has Drake been putting his new plane to good use? The possibilities are endless. He might have started from the bottom, but the rapper has been flying high on some of the most luxurious vacations. Air Drake's first flight was to Turks and Caicos for an exclusive getaway. Boop, 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 boop! Sha ta ta, sha ta ta! Stop playing, man. Big up yourself. Hey, Turks and Caicos. Boop, 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 boop! We hit number one. Yo, yo, take my picture. That's all I wanted. Now that we run that bitch back again. I didn't want to say nothing. I just, I just let him run out. Let me all know what's up. I mean, let me run that back. Bottom, but the rapper has been flying high on some of the most luxurious vacations. Air Drake's first flight was to Turks and Caicos for an exclusive getaway. But the hard-to-miss plane has been spotted all around the world since then. Last year, Drake took off to the Bahamas with a bunch of friends, and his plane was spotted looking huge on the tarmac next to a much smaller private plane. More recently, it was spotted setting off to Barbados with Drake and friends on board. This was back in July, despite quarantine rules, and Drake got a little criticism for partying it up at private events and taking his friend for a private yacht ride. There, he was spotted enjoying the cool blue water, Man. but also filming you know maybe even a brand new music. Why are you always on somebody's dick, bro? Let them all live life. You, you, man, it is always a broke nigga who complaining, bro. You never hear somebody with money complaining. Oh, he should. No, nigga, shut up. Freak, man. Always complaining. Everybody's like bots, bro. He shouldn't do that. You should have careful. What that nigga got to do with you? And listen, this might be somebody in all day freaking. Say, for example, Australia. Worrying about what this nigga doing in the Caribbean and Canada. Get off the man dick. Let him live his life. But perhaps the most epic thing Drake has done so far with his new jet has to do with his favorite sports team, the Toronto That was Raptors. nice. In 2013, the hip-hop star was named the Raptors Global Ambassador, with his goal to build so much hype for the team that tickets would be nearly impossible to get for the average person. Well, the plans have worked, especially after the Raptors won the NBA championship in 2019, and Drake's We the North campaign really took off. Afterwards, Drake partied it up at the parade with a bunch of the athletes, but the party was also going on up in the sky. Air Drake was spotted doing a victory lap over the city and getting lots of attention while it let everyone know that Drake was joining his favorite athletes for an epic celebration in his hometown. Following their victory against the Warriors, Drizzy even lent the private plane to some members of the team, getting his captain to fly them home after the festivities. Wouldn't we all be so lucky to have a friend like Drake? Man. In 2017, the partnership between Drake and the team grew even more, and together they donated $3 million to Toronto and Canadian basketball. Drake has helped out other teams as well. He lent the jet to the Sacramento Kings in September of 2019 so they could fly to India for a preseason game. In 2019, Drake was named number three on the Forbes' highest paid acts in hip-hop, raking in an amazing $75 million that year. 
He wow. was also the youngest to make it that high on the list at only 32. A young, successful hip-hop act is bound to be into some partying, and he's shown off some pictures and videos of Air Drake and all the party jet action. His good friend DJ Academics has also shown off the rapper's sky-high style with exclusive videos of the party plane in action. But partying aside, Drake's jet also has a practical use. The rapper might have to take a break from touring in 2020, but usually he's always on the road making about $2 million per night. The jet helps him get from place to place quick and easier, and he's able to have some fun with friends while he's on his way. If only long distance travel was always this comfortable. In fact, we wouldn't be surprised if Drake takes off for a quick party in the sky just because he's bored. Drake is trying to put his jet to good use for the little people, though. In April, he announced he would be giving away a flight with him on his private plane as part of the all in challenge for pandemic relief. The news quickly got a lot of attention from interested people who would love to get an exclusive luxury experience with their favorite rapper. Unfortunately, it's not all love for Aubrey Graham and his huge airplane. A lot of people are worried about climate change. The airplane leaves a huge carbon footprint that's actually quite a bit larger than other celebrities' private jets because... You remember when I just was saying it always a broke nigga who always complaining? Why y'all gonna complain when American Airlines, no disrespect, uh, Delta, uh, uh, you know, why y'all don't complain when they they travel, these planes are in the sky every single day, bro. The man, I'm pretty sure Drake don't travel on his plane every single day. Y'all complain with one man. Boy, y'all people kill me, bro. You can't win. You got to listen, you listen. You got a big jet. You offer to take people on the ride. Give people a ride. Give people, you know what I mean? They make it noise. Say the carbon footprint. So what the fuck? Pop my What the what the hell are all these other airlines doing? I'm listening. I'm waiting. But you won't complain. But you complain when Amazon taking too long to bring your package to your house, right? 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 They're using the same aircraft, a 767. Damn weirdos. 767 is a huge aircraft meant for cargo or commercial passengers. If it's just jetting around with Drake and a few friends, is the ultra luxury travel even worth it when you consider the greenhouse gases? Feel free to let us know what you think in the comments man, down below. You know, like, man, you're just on somebody dick, Drake bro. has to stay grounded a little more for the good of the environment. Drake has a lot of luxury right here on the ground oh to keep God. himself entertained. He's busy building a sprawling Los Angeles estate in Hidden Hills, a luxe neighborhood home to celebrities like the Kardashians that he calls the Yolo. Estate. Drake paid $7.7 .7 million for a part of the estate in 2012 and later bought a connecting property for $4.5 million. Known as his party palace, the estate takes up over six acres and oh. features a 25-seat theater, a game room, a spa splash, massage room, and a huge wine cellar. But lately he switched his focus to something even more impressive, his $100 million mansion in Toronto. The I Toronto estate is really something else. First of all, it's located in Bridal Path, in an area referred to as Millionaire's Row where Celine Dion and even Prince have had homes. It has an NBA regulation size indoor basketball court with a skylight and the Ovo Owl overlooking gameplay. It's also got a bespoke wow. concert grand piano, a metropolitan chandelier with more than 20,000 pieces of hand-cut Swarovski crystal, and granite atmospheric lighting that shines over the indoor pool. Black granite is used a lot throughout the home. It's even what makes up the one-of-a-kind and incredibly heavy bathtub. There's also a massive lounge Damn. featuring some of the rapper's favorite collectibles, as well as a recording studio, a 3,200 square foot master bedroom suite, and 1,100 square feet of covered terraces so he can enjoy the cool Toronto winters. The rapper's even got himself a high-tech singing toilet with neon lights that he's shown off on Instagram almost as much as he's shown off his new airplane. Because Drake is an incredibly successful artist, he's also got an entire awards room where he keeps his biggest accolades, including his four Grammys. And since he's a huge sports fan, this room is right next to a hallway devoted to his impressive collection of sports jerseys. So yes, Drake has an incredibly luxurious lifestyle both on the ground and in the air. One day. It's one of the most successful acts in hip-hop today. It's fair to say he's earned it. With his private plane at the ready to help him conquer the world, his next tour is bound to be even more epic than his previous ones combined. As for getting to see it yourself, you might be able to spot the baby blue wings flying over Los Angeles or Toronto, but without knowing the rapper personally, a glimpse of it soaring through the clouds is probably as close as we'll get to really experiencing what it's like to fly in a palace in the sky.
Like, fuck that. Would you like the chance to could, fly Air Drake? Pardon my language, you? but you could put that on your own head, bro. You don't put it on no us. Well, I limit myself to to, to regional, but I want, I don't want no 767. I want a 787. Fuck out of here, boy. I want a Dreamliner. Yeah, big boy. Even though the Dreamliner is kind of smaller than the 767. I don't care. I want a 787. But, yeah, man, that, that really pissed me off. You know, because it's, it's a carbon for... Nigga! How many... Anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Smash that like button, man. Big shouts out to Drake. Champagne Poppy. Shouts out to you, brother. You know, all that good stuff. Once again, <clears throat> sorry, Toxic and Cake is a little hot because I'm from the Toxic and Cake is like. By the way, it's pronounced Turks and Caicos. 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 Islands. Turks. Say it with me. Say it with me. Turks and Caicos. Islands. And I live on the island of Providencia Islands. Say it once time. Providencia Islands. You got it, you got it. Not Turks and Caicos. Caico. Caicos. No, nigga. Turks and Caicos. Straight up. Providencia Islands. 242. What the, what the hell did I just say? Oh my gosh. I, no. 649. Sorry. My bad. What the hell did I just say? 242. Sorry. I meant to say 649. Big up y'all sub by 649 straight up all the way every day every day. But with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that like button if you guys are new to the channel. If you guys want to see more reaction videos, let me know and I'll try to get it to as soon as possible. With that being said, hope you guys have an amazing day. Be happy, be blessed, and remember the world is yours.